The right-angled triangle is one of the most important mathematical shapes. The 90 degree, or right angle, is formed by two of the sides. The third side, directly opposite the right angle, is the longest side, called the hypotenuse. And any right-angled triangle, in any orientation, will always have its longest side opposite the right angle. The length of the longest side, which we'll label C, is related to the length of the two shorter sides, which we'll label A and B. This relationship is given by the theorem of Pythagoras. This theorem states that if we square the shorter side lengths and add them together, we get the longer side squared. Or simply, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This right angled triangle has side lengths of 3, 4, and 5 units. We can see the relationship between these sides by imagining a square drawn on each side. This side makes a 3 by 3 square, so an area of 9 square units. This side makes a 4 by 4 square, so an area of 16 square units. And the longer side makes a 5 by 5 square, so an area of 25 square units. Adding the areas of the smaller squares gives the same area as the larger square. That is that the sum of the squares of the shorter sides equals the square of the longer side. And no matter the size and shape of our right angle triangle, when we add the areas of the two blue squares, we always get the area of the yellow square. This theorem can be proven in many different ways. As an example, take a square and divide each side in the same ratio of A to B. This will give four points on the square. Connect the four points to give this yellow square with a side length of C, and so an area of C squared. Now let's rearrange the green triangles by sliding them within the larger square frame. This gives two yellow squares, one with an area of A squared and the other with an area of B squared. But if we compare to our original arrangement, the total yellow areas in these two diagrams must be equal, as we've only shifted the triangles within the same square frame. So A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared which proves Pythagoras' theorem.